Hey guys, Randy RJ here, welcoming you back to, to Super Mario 64. In the last episode, we finished up Babon's ba Battlefield and, Wom and Womp's Fortress, and we and we almost finished up Cool Cool Mountain. In this episode, we're going to fit. I'm tired. Yeah, yeah, you're tired, Mario. We got. It. We're going to finish up uh, Cool Cool Mountain. Now, I'm pretty sure you guys probably noticed, but I have another, I have an extra star. I have 25 stars. Well, <laughs> this genius forgot to hit the, hit the record button. Yeah, I know, I'm, I'm an idiot. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Cool Cool Mountain, I already finished this stage, but we're going to go back in here, though. And wall kicks will work. So yeah, wall kicks. What we need, what we need to do is we go. We need to go. Why is it? Oh, there, okay, there you go. We need to. We need to go to the area where we have to wall kick to get ourselves another star. Now, what we now what we're supposed to do is. Whoa, 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 whoa stop. We're supposed to talk to the Babam buddy. We're supposed to talk to the, to the uh, Babam buddy, and he'll open up the cannon for us, so we can get to the so we can get to the area where we can get the uh, star, where we can try to get the star. Well, what I personally what I personally prefer to do is I prefer to jump off the stage, kick. Okay, made it. Shortcuts. Who needs a who needs a sticking cannon? Okay, wall jump. Ah. Wall jump, triple jump to wall jump, okay. And there's our star. Okay, now very carefully. Easy to Ooh, oh Mario. That is not being careful. Alright, and there we go. Here we go. Cool cool mountain is complete. Again. <laughs> Alright. Now moving on. Oh yeah. I'm glad. I'm really. I really am glad that they fixed that though, because in 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 the remake in Super Mario in Super Mario 64 DX remake, because in that because in that stage, the uh the platform the the uh, stage I mean the stage the platform that lead they to get to the start it was it's like it's more wider in that game than it was in this game. I don't know why they made it so narrow to where you could easily fall off, especially when it's um icy too. But anyways, the names the names of the star are also hints for finding them. They are displayed at the beginning of each course. You can collect the stars in any order. You won't find some stars, enemies, or items unless you select a, a specific star. After you collect some stars, you can try another course. We're all waiting for your help. All right. So, over here, if you jump in here, is a secret world. Now, what we need to do here is we need to collect eight red coins while swimming. And I, I gotta say, I really do like the uh, swimming controls for Mario in this in this game. Cause I don't know, the, the swimming feels very fluid. It's like it's like you he goes down when you, when you want him to, he goes up when you want him to, he he turns he turns well, and the, the, and the swimming and the swimming mechanics is, is just very easy. If you I mean if you tap A in section, Mario will swim fast. If you hold down the A button, Mario will kick and he'll have better control while swimming. And I and I really and I, and I really like and like I said I really like the swimming controls in, in this game. It's, it's really it's really good. I know I know in some 3D games they kind of they, they kind of struggle with the um uh, the swimming controls, but but in this game though it's not it's not so bad. And speaking of which, I gotta say uh this is like I think this is like the very first. Mario game where Mario can actually where Mario can actually drown if he stays if he stays underwater for too long. 
And Mario's drowning in animation is so gruesome looking. I mean, for a kid's game, seeing Mario just drown and see... It is just so disturb. It's just a little. It's just so disturbing, disturbing. But anyways, Jolly Roger Bay, plunder in the sunken, sunken ship. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So in this stage, so in this stage, we need to uh, swim to the. Uh, Sunken ship, which is underwater, and here, and here, there's an eel. Uh, I don't remember the name of this eel. I think his name is Illy. I think I could be wrong, but what we need to do is we need to get close to him and then swim back to the surface, and then after that, swim back down. But I do. Where is by doing that, he comes out of the um, the uh, ship, and we can go inside the ship now. Now, <laughs> funny story. As a kid, the very first time I did this mission, um, I when I saw that eel, I got so scared. Is this it? No, it's not. Okay, well, wrong button. Okay. This one? Oh crap, okay. you know what? Let me get some air first before I drown. Uh, yeah, the first time when, when I saw that eel, I got so scared when I got that eel that, that in a panic I turned the game off because I got so scared of the eel. <laughs> yeah, I know. I, 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 I was a coward as a kid, but. <laughs> but come on now, we, we, all, we all was afraid of something as a kid. So let's see, is it this one? No, okay. Uh, I'm gonna get them all wrong first, am, am I? Okay, here we go. So let's see, that's one. So is it this one? Nope, okay. Uh, oh boy, this is gonna be fun. Okay, so one. In the remake, there was only one. There was only one treasure chest. In this, in this, in this, in the original, there are four. So is it this one? Okay, that's two. I think three is this one. Okay. Okay. There we go. All right. Okay. Now hit this. Now hit this treasure chest. And as soon as you hit that treasure chest, try to swim to the top as fast as fast as you can. It'll make it'll make getting to that star a lot more easier. Oh, Mario, what are you doing? There you go. And there we go, a star. Here we go. Cause if you cause you, cause if you let the um water sink to the bottom before you before you, you can get to the top, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to like climb your way to the you have to like platform your way to the top and platforming platforming it isn't easy. But anyways, can the eel come out to play? Oh wow, check that out. I, I like that little tra transi trans uh, transition. It's like when you, it's like when you first start the stage, the um the area was gloom the area was like dark and gloomy. Now that now that we uh now that the ship is back, now that, now the area is not foggy now and it's, and, it's, and you see the clouds. I really like that. All right, prepare the cannon. Check, checking my time, see how much time we have. All right. Now I kind of hate this mission because, oh yeah, that, that's a start. That's a start that we won't be able to get later on. Uh, where are you? Cause I really hate this eel because, like, you gotta swim just close enough, but not to get hit by him though. And then what you need to do is you need to grab his, uh, you need to grab the star that comes out of his. That's grab it, grab it, grab it. Dang. Oh no! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Swim, swim. Oh god! I'm gonna drown. Am I? I'm gonna drown. Oh my god, that was too close. Oh my god. 
Yeah, this is why I don't like this mission because if you hit that eel, he does three hearts of damage and he hurts like heck. Oh, oh, that's great. All right, let's try that. Let's go back to the surface again. It's like he takes so long coming out and then when he does come out, you gotta get the star at, that's at his tail. It's almost like it's almost like you're playing tag with, with with an eel. But the problem is though, if you touch him though, you take three hearts. You take you take three slices 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 of damage, and and you saw how close I was at dying there. Come on, grab it. There we go. Uh, I hate you, you know. Oh, oh god, Mario, grab the freaking star. Alright. Alright, come back in. And what we got this time? Treasure of the Ocean Cave, okay. Instead, though, I'm gonna jump into this cannon. Before I'm gonna try to see, I'm gonna try to see if, if I can uh, get get the star before this one, before doing that one. Let's see, uh, oh man, it's so touchy. A little higher, come on. Ooh. Ah, nope. Well, we'll try that again later. Let's see, let's see. Which way? All right, this way. I gotta say, the music, the music is is pretty peaceful. And then when then when you get on land, the music is a little more upbeat, more upbeat and jazzy. Keep out. That means you. Arrgh. Anyone enter, anyone entering this cave without permission will meet certain certain disaster. Eh, I'm not worried. We do watch out for these us uh, um uh these uh pillars though. Let's see. Ah, ahoy, matey! I have sunken treasure here. I do, but to pluck the but to pluck the plunder, you must open the treasure chest in the in the right order. What order is that? You, you say? I'll never tell the captain. Well, fortunately, I do know I do know the order. It's this one, this one, this one, and this one. Ah, oh, shoot, I tried to jump. Here we go. At least, at least getting at least getting the order in, in this on at least getting the order for this one was easier than the one in the in the sunk in the, in the um sunken ship. <laughs> but anyways, jump back in. Rare coins on the sh on the ship of floats. Okay, I would do the rare coins, but I want to try. But I want to try. I want to try this again. Okay, let's aim a little. Oh, not that high. There we go. Oh, the other way. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Oh man, one more star, and we, and we have enough stars to, to fight the fight Bowser the second, to fight Bowser the second time. Because once, because like once you collect thirty stars, you get you get no you get um you you get told that you can you can now enter the uh, the. Uh, Big star door where 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 you will fight where you can fight Bowser the second time. Man, this is like the third. I think this is like the. Th Open your mouth. Like, I think this is like the third part, and already, and already we're um, already we, we almost got like three stars. Open your mouth. Thank you, you st stupid clam. 
Oh yeah, be careful. We be careful not to touch, touch these guys too, because you will take damage if you touch if you touch the shell for some reason. Oh god. Oh, okay, over here. Stay far away from that from that guy, because I do not want to get hit. <laughs> oh, okay, I got three. Did what? Okay. I'm about to say, why am I stuck? Right, there's one there. Come on, there you go. Okay. I think and I think that's the I think that's the remaining uh Okay, the remaining the remaining ones are here, okay. Yeah Okay. Number five. No wait, wait, I'm missing one. Oh crap. Here's six. And here's Oh. Well that's cool with me, cause I gotta come back to that anyway. Oh, oh there he is. How how did I miss that one? Okay. Oh crap. Rabbit! Okay. Alright, there we go. Ah, get there! Ah, crap. Yeah, watch out for that. Watch out for that box, by the way, because if you can hit that box, you, you'll get crushed. Here we go. Here we go. All right, thirty, thirty stars. You've recovered thirty power stars. Now you can open the, the door with the big star. Before you move on, how's it going otherwise? Did you pound the two columns down? You didn't lose your hat, did you? If you did, you had to stumble on the condor to get it back. They say that Bowser has sneak has sneaked out, out of the sea and into the underground. Sorry about that guy, somebody was calling. <laughs> what a perfect time to call me while I'm while 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 I'm recording. But anyways, uh what was I saying? They say that Bowser has sneaked out sneak out of the sea and, and, and into the underground. Have you have you finally cornered him? Yeah, like we got three stars and we have we haven't even fought Bowser the first time yet. And alright, and alright, we we're told that we can fight Bowser the second time now. Like I said. Anyways, through the jet stream. Now, unfortunately, we need a special cat for this mission, so we're not going to be able to do this mission yet. So instead, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to get 100 coins instead. So I'm gonna speed this up. And also before and also before I speed this up, get 100 coins. Get 100 coins on this stage is probably the, it's probably the most annoying one. It's probably the most annoying of them all because there's literally there's like literally just enough coins to get to get a star. So you're gonna have to look extremely careful. So you're gonna have to look extremely carefully in order to get enough coin coins in order to get 100 stars. I mean, 100 stars, 100 coins. But yeah, anyways, I'm gonna speed this up now, guys. So enjoy, enjoy some, enjoy some music. All right, there we go, guys. We, as you can see, as you can see, I just barely had enough coins, four like four coins over, over a hundred. Cause I think, cause I, I think there's like over one hundred and four coins. So I literally got every single coin that's that's in this stage. So 
Yeah, getting 100 coins on this stage is isn't exactly easy. So you have so you're gonna have to make sure you get every single coin that you can. But anyways, this this is that's pretty much all I can do for this stage at the time being. So we're gonna move on. Now I could I could go and face against face off against Bowser now, but hmm. I'm going to go to the next stage. Here we have a silver boo. Oh, oh, no, I don't want you to go in. I wonder. No, it's not. Okay, I was just checking. I was just checking something. I was wondering. I was wondering if it was possible to. Uh, Now, I heard. Now I heard a lot of people talk talk about this uh, star thing. I don't remember. I don't remember much about it. But some people said that there was a possibility that there could be some kind of secret to this uh, star, and that it had something to do with uh, Luigi or something like that. But it turns out that. But it turns out that the rumors were, weren't true though. And some people claimed that it was pop. That it was. That the start that that statue might have something to do with um, unlocking Luigi or something like that, but unfortunately though the uh, the rumors weren't true though. Come on in, come on in here. <laughs> okay, yeah. Speaking of which, I think originally when when Super Mario sixty four was being first made. I think they, I think they did make plans on making Luigi a playable character. Like they plan on making it a Karak, um, um, a Karak. Uh, what? I missed it. I must have missed it. A Kar um, what was I saying? Um, um, Karak, um. Oh shoot. I think they, I think they, they I think they wanted the game to, to be like a two-player game. Where one player would play as Mario while the other player played as Luigi, and they would work together. And, and I think, I think, I think that's something that they wanted to. I think that was something that Nintendo originally planned for, but unfortunately, though, it didn't work out. Though, so so they scrapped that. So they scrapped that that idea, which is which is kind of unfortunate, though. Of course, I have seen some playthroughs where some people, where some people did play the, where some people did go through the, uh, did make the, um, they did make, they made some playthroughs to where they was, um, playing together where one character, where one person was playing as Mario and the other person was playing as Luigi. I have seen some playthroughs of that. But it would be, but it would be interesting if they did do something like that, though. Would it be a game? No, I'm, I'm going this way. Where they just made it where um, Mario and Luigi just could just work together and just explore together. I mean, I guess they kind of implement. I, I mean, I guess Nintendo did kind of, did kind of, did kind of make it that, did kind of make it that way. In a way, with Super Mario Galaxy, where one person played as Mario while the other, while the other person played as Luma, and they just and they just help Mario by distracting enemies and stuff like that. But I don't know. I mean, there. I mean, also this Super Mario um, 3D World. It was Super Mario 3D World, and I guess I guess that's as I guess that's as close we're gonna get as of a 3D Mario game with with Mario and Luigi working together. I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what I'm trying to say. It's like I'm basically I'm basically just rambling right now, really. <laughs> but I do hope that Nintendo one day in the future could somehow. I don't know. Could somehow 
bring that idea back and just make it and just make it a, a two-player Mario adventure game if they could somehow. I mean, I mean, we do have Super Mario Land two, and we do have we do no not Super not, no, not Super Mario Land two. We do have uh, Super Mario Wii. We do have Super Mario Wii in. And the uh, Super Mo and Super Mario U. Dude, I just kicked this guy right right in tune with right in tune with the music. <laughs> that was amazing. All right, how much time do I have? Five seconds. I'm five seconds. Five minutes. I think I, I think I have time to do one more. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. The dog. Yeah. Well, then it secret, secret of the haunted books. Now I want to try something. I'm going to try a couple of times. I'm not, I'm not going to waste everyone's time trying it over and over again. But I think I can cheese this somehow. I think. Like, if I could just, like... Ah. Oh, yeah, and this thing. Oh, God! Crap! Oh. Every, every, everybody's nightmare. <laughs> okay, let's, let's try that. Oh. Uh, you stay there. Okay. Uh. Ah, I can't do it. I don't have, I don't have enough room to do it. I can't do it. Okay, one more. Uh, okay. Well, that'll work. Um, Cause we're supposed to go in there, but I'm trying to see if I can cheese it though. Get behind me. Okay, if I mess this up, then I'm not gonna try again. Ah, and that's it. Well, I think, but well, I think it is possible to cheese that though. But I, but I messed it up though, so I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna keep it moving. I think we're supposed to go in here. Yep. Excuse me, pardon me, coming through. Don't mind me. All right. So the secret to the haunted books is middle, right, left, and there we go. And there we go, guys. Another easy star. I still okay. I still have, I still have time. <laughs> Kick your butt. And what's next? I think I'm gonna do the eight. Yep, yeah, eight red coins. Okay, seek the eight red, eight red coins. All right, it's gonna be easy. Okay. All right, the first red coin. The first red coin is right here. Everyone's favorite piano. Thank you. Screw you. Nobody loves you. Everybody hates you. Okay, this crap. Okay, there's two up here. I wonder if it's I wonder if it's possible to, to uh, kick those kick those doors I mean, kick those um uh chairs away that that would be cool if you could okay oh yeah I don't want to go this way I don't know it's like the camera angle the camera angle there sucks so it's like it can really screw you over if you try to if you try to go through the, if you try to go past the uh, bridge. Here. Ah, okay, there we go. All right, let's see. Uh, I think there's one. Yeah, there's one. I think there's one here. Yep. All right. 
Man, what? Man, I, I am just blazing through this right now, man. Holy crap! One. I think I think there's another one here. Oh crap! Wait, wait, wait! Oh crap! Okay, wait. Come on, lift. Come on, you stupid. Thank you. Right, and the last one should be over here. Meet it. And here we go. Piece of cake, and also watch out for that floor because you, you got you guys can probably see it, but there's a little bit of white um, at at the floor. That's a fake door. I mean, fake door. that's a fake floor. If you stand on, it, you're gonna fall through. So watch out for that. But anyways. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Yahoo! All right. So yeah, guys. Well, I'm gonna call this an episode. So okay, guys. In the next episode, we're going to continue working on the missions on Big Boo's. What was it? Big Boo's haunt. What it's called? Big Boo's haunts. And then we're going to finally face off against Bowser. So until then, guys, I'm Randy RJ, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!